According to the Electoral Act, CCC has rejected the slots that the Zimbabwe Broadcasting Corporation CBC allotted to them. The party has also set unrealistic expectations for its advertisements by requesting that the public broadcaster produce commercials on their behalf. This was said in a statement yesterday by the Permanent Secretary for Information, Publicity and Broadcasting Services, Mr. Nick Mengwana, in response to a CCC statement that had accused ZBC of not airing its programs and advertisements. The CCC continued by calling the reports from ZBC unconstitutional and prejudiced in favor of ZANU PF. Nonetheless, Mr. Mengwana asserted that early government investigations have revealed that fighting and power conflicts within the CCC have prevented the party from designating delegates to full open positions. While the ZBC will address the claims made by the CCC, according to Mr. Mengwana, the government's role as the source of policy direction and parliamentary accountability is where their responsibility as the government ends. The public broadcaster has its own board and administration and is not a part of the government. According to Mr. Mengwana, we provide them with policy guidance, resource advocacy, and parliamentary accountability. We have since requested a formal response from them in order to clear up any ambiguities that may have existed between the parties over the CCC public statement. The attitude of the government is that the public broadcaster is there to serve people, and the ZBC has promised us that they will make a statement in the spirit of public institution accountability. All political parties and all living or deceased individuals fall under this category. From our initial research, we have learned that it can be difficult to get CCC people on the air because they either don't want to attend programs or they have internal conflicts that make it difficult for them to decide who should moderate or appear on a program and how the program should be structured. This occasionally causes confusion about who should attend a program on their behalf and discourages others from going. Despite ZBC's efforts to provide equitable representation of all stakeholders, the public broadcaster tries to stay away from these internal conflicts that occasionally result in the party not being represented at all. Regarding commercial productions, Mr. Mengwana claimed that CCC chose not to fulfill its commitment by doing so and instead sought to have ZBC handle it for them. ZBC says that CCC leadership has an unrealistic expectation that ZBC should produce the commercials for them when it comes to the airing of CCC advertisements. This misunderstands the function of public broadcasters. Like ZNUPF, the CCC party requires its own creatives to handle its projects. As the ZBC is a broadcaster and not an advertising firm, it would prefer finished products and, of course, fair compensation for the airtime that was acquired, according to Mr. Mengwana. He claimed that if major events like galas were to be broadcast live on television, ZANU PF and the government would pay for all of their programs, including those of those events. The National Heroes Galas, which are carried live on ZBC, are funded by the government. Mr. Mengwana stated, we urge everyone to assist our national institutions in their commercial endeavors to prevent becoming a financial burden to the taxpayer. In order to provide a favorable climate for free and fair elections, ZBC is required by law to grant free broadcasting slots to all contending political parties and candidates, allowing them to air their positions and or manifestos and submit paid ads.